Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I wanted to just show you a fun way to grow potatoes, and I made these out of nursery pots. The smaller pots, you cut out a side just like this. I'll show you what we do with them in a second. Larger pots, you can cut out three sides, and they're going to basically be inserted into other containers, and then the potatoes go in there, and you can just kind of pull this out and harvest the potatoes from the side. It's a fun project, it works. I tend to overplant potatoes when I'm doing this so I can kind of lift this up as they're growing, take out smaller potatoes, use them as I'm cooking. So I have German butterball right here, French fingerlings, and I think those are purple Peruvians. So before we get to the setup, any potting mix, I want to keep it simple. I have a lot of videos on how you can make your own container mix, your own potting mix. I have videos on kind of tweaking the fertilizer for potatoes, but I don't want to create barriers. So any organic granular fertilizer works really well. This happens to be plant tone. It's a 5-5, I'm sorry, it's a 5-3-3, five, three, three, 5 nitrogen, 3 potassium, 3 phosphorus. In this, I'm going to put in three big handfuls of fertilizer. Potatoes are heavy feeders, and I'm just going to load it up with the organic granular. That will break down slowly. It takes about a month or so for it to start breaking down, and it usually breaks down over, generally speaking, a four-month period. That was enough container mix to fill a 10-gallon root pouch. I sell those at my seed shop if you're interested in uh, fabric pots. So three big handfuls. In truth, potatoes kind of like lower nitrogen, higher phosphorus, higher potassium. It just helps them develop a little bit better, but it's not worth stressing yourself out. Any organic granular, three big handfuls into about 10 gallons worth of potting mix, and then we'll fill up the pots. Let me show you how to do that. Need to get the tripod, we'll set it up. It's a fun project. Well, let's start with the small pots. These are probably four gallons or so. You can use any size pot. You just have to remember when you're pulling the insert out, you know, it can't be so much weight that you can't pull it out. So this is a smaller pot, and you just get two like-sized pots, cut out, in this case, two sides, and then you're just gonna drop, drop it inside of each other. Then you fill it up, all the way to the top. We'll speed this up a little bit. And just fill the bucket to the top, press it in lightly, and when you pull it out, you're gonna see the soil sits right there. That's also gonna be where you find the potatoes. So once you have it filled, we're going to put in the uh, Peruvian purple. And in here you could put in one potato, they'll be larger. You could put in up to three, they're going to be smaller. This is going to be really what I would use for smaller potatoes that I'm just digging out a few for dinner. So you want to go down about four inches and you want the growth to be pointed upwards. And again, I am over planting in here. About four inches deep, you can go a little bit further. Potatoes can be put in the ground when the frost is still around. When the greenery comes up, if frost is around, it's gonna damage the greenery. So you're kind of timing it so that when they really sprout and they're growing and you're getting six, 12 inches of growth, frost is not around. And then that's just all you really do. Water it in with any water-soluble organic fertilizer. When the growth gets to about six inches, water it again with a water-soluble fertilizer. And then you're gonna to wanna to water there after about every two to three weeks as the potatoes are developing. Over their growing time, you would just lift this out and you could just pick whatever's growing right there. So the bigger container went into the 10 gallon root pouch. And this guy's more like, you know, the experiment. This is perfect for a container garden. This is a good size so that you will get potatoes but you could go with something bigger. You can make the design however you want. And I'm gonna put in German butter balls. I'm gonna put in four into here. And you're looking to just kind of, let's use this one. Just put the growth going upwards. Again, about four inches deep. Water them in well with your water soluble fertilizer. And then on top of here, I would put a little bit of mulch. After the green breaks through and is up a little bit, then I would mulch this surface, help conserve water, keep water in there. But this is a fun way to be able to harvest potatoes while they're growing, rather than just waiting till the end, dumping out the bag, and harvesting all the potatoes at once. When I'm growing green beans, you know, 
if I don't have something like this set up, I usually just reach into the bag, I search around for potatoes, pull out some, you know, immature potatoes, which are still delicious, you know, they're basically baby potatoes, and I cook them up with my green beans. So this is a fun experiment, I encourage you to try different things in your garden, and this is a great way to grow potatoes. Thanks for watching, please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com, and remember, when you're doing something like this, you want to, in my opinion, over seed the area. So put in more potatoes than you might think and you'll be able to harvest a bunch of baby potatoes. Thanks for watching.